Cutting for a Cure got started with Dennis Mitchell, better known as Denny Mo. Um, he started the event in order to provide health care guidance, resources, and information to the community um, by using health care providers but asking them to come into the barbershop as opposed to having the barbershop clientele go to them. started back in um, 2008. I wanted to do a, a marathon or something like that, and my father at the same time was struggling from pancreatic cancer. So I decided to put a cause on the back of the marathon because the marathon represents, you know, like diseases, they go hard. They don't care who you are, how old or young, they go hard. So I said, well, let the barbers go 48 hours strong. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and fight fire with fire. This weekend, it's, it's all free health screenings, you know? HIV testing, hepatitis testing, uh, diabetes testing. Currently, right now, our focus is hepatitis C because hepatitis C is disproportionately impacting the African American community. There's estimated over 3.2 million people who are infected by Hep C. There's now a cure for it, so our focus is Hep C to try to get as many people tested and into care as possible. We do know of a few individuals. Um, and our prayers definitely go up for them, but we're confident that they're going to get the help that they need. That actually found out that they were um, carrying the virus um, after just being tested. They came, they got tested, and it was news to them. I really felt it was it was important to do this performance because, first of all, I'm from Harlem, Harlem in the building, yes, and. Um, you know, I think the, the movement is, is important. I think people need to be, you know, need to be aware of what's going on with their health. Um, people that can't, you know, afford services and tests. Um, it's a day to come and, you know, encourage people to, to find out what's going on with their bodies. Because without health, you have, you have no wealth. <laughs> Bottom line. If anyone has any questions about heart disease, about heart attacks, about um, just daily living, Please ask me, I'm here. Cutting for a Cure is great for the community because what happens is people like myself and others get to come out and we get to talk to uh, the people in the community who can identify with us. And when you look at me, you can identify with me. Um, black woman, age you know, 50, heart attack at age 47, she looks like me. Um, so this can happen to me. So with having Cutting for a Cure, we are, we are able to go out and we're able to talk to people and spread the word. This when Charles Rangel walked through the door and it, it, it just lit up the whole place and only solidified and gave credibility and visibility to what it is we're trying to do. I need a, a trim. Yeah. Right. Whenever Dennis gives an affair, it's more than hair cutting, it's a community affair. And uh, he has demonstrated how you can run a business and at the same time make a gigantic contribution to to the community. The Cutting for a Cure um, National, International Cutting for a Cure Day, we're going to really make that happen. The next time, invite neighboring barbers in their towns and around, and around their towns and it spreads that way, you know. And that's what we wanted to do, we wanted to spread. But we're going to make it happen to a point where every barbershop, or if not every barbershop, at least five barbershops in each city is going to be representing Cutting Fork Cure, giving back to the community.